Hey everyone, it's Hannah. I'm here on a laptop again because apparently cameras don't fix themselves overnight. Yep. So today my video is going to be uh, advice for freshmen. How to survive freshman year. Tip number one, do not be annoying. Don't annoy the upperclassmen. Don't try to be friends with like all the upperclassmen. Don't like ditch your class. Just be a freshman and get through it causing as little damage along the way as possible. You're going to get a lot of shit for being a freshman, so just deal with it, go with the flow, and don't be annoying about it. Don't slack off freshman year. The more you slack off, the more it's gonna hurt you in the long run. Especially, like, for me, you're gonna be a senior and you're gonna be like, wow, I could have been in the top 10, except I messed up my freshman and sophomore year. Another reason you shouldn't slack off freshman year is because all the information you learn is cumulative. So, if you learn something freshman year, you're probably going to need it in some class senior year. So, especially English, like, you need to learn how to write well, and it's going to help you in all of your classes, not just your English class. So, you just got to remember that all your classes mean something to each other. Like, right now, I'm going into AP Economics, and I wish I paid more attention in freshman history because a lot of this stuff is about like court cases and stuff and I don't remember them at all. Join clubs everywhere. Just join all the clubs freshman year because you will never regret joining too many clubs but you will regret not joining enough clubs and I know everyone says it but just join all the clubs. If you don't join clubs you're gonna be really bored and you're not gonna meet as many people. You need a big part of freshman year is making friends. I personally joined a lot of clubs freshman year, kind of. I did key club, I did conservation club, I did drama club, and I did band. I quit key club, but I kind of wish I didn't. Another thing is you should join things like band and chorus and sports. Like, one of those three. Because those are all very tight-knit communities that you do things outside of school, you do things in school. You just need something like that to like get you through high school pretty much so I did band some people do chorus some people do sports like those are all great things to do volunteer you're going to need volunteer hours to get into college to get into NHS all to keep up key club all those things so the more you volunteer the better and the more you do it your freshman year the better when you're volunteering stick to one place to volunteer at and so you can do like 30 hours at the animal shelter and 20 hours at the library. But don't do like an hour at the animal shelter, an hour at the library, an hour at the park, an hour with at your mom's work. You know, just keep a lot of hours in one place because a lot of places don't like it as much when you have like more scattered hours. Take as many high level courses as you physically think you can manage. The more high-level courses you take, the better off you're going to be in the future because, especially on your GPA, the high-level courses are going to influence your GPA more. So if you do well on them, they're going to help your GPA a lot. So especially when your senior year comes, your high-level courses are um, going to affect you more because there's some classes senior year I can't take because I didn't take a high enough course freshman year to get me up. So like honors classes, AP classes, all those classes, just take as many as you can, think you can handle because I... They're never as hard as the teachers make them sound, because the teachers make them sound really intimidating, but they're not actually as bad as the teachers make them sound. Another tip is to do homework. Do all of your homework. I don't care where you, don't have to do it at home. I never did any homework at home. If you have a band class, a lot of times you can do homework before or after band rehearsal or in chorus. You can do it um, at drama club. You can do it in your photography class. That's what I did. I took a photography class and I did all my homework there. I rushed through my photography work and then I rushed through my homework and I got 100 in photography and I got my homework done. So if you have a really easy class, you can do your homework in that. But don't like do your homework in a little history class if you're not good at history because then you're going to be failing history and you're just going to do a mediocre job on your homework, which is not going to help you in your math class that your homework is due for, because a lot of times the homework really helps you understand the topic. Another thing is don't have a freshman backpack. If your backpack is like wider than you are, that's a problem. Basically, your backpack should be like this wide. Um, 
don't carry any books. Just carry your books in your arms, put your books in your locker, whatever. Don't put binders in there. Just carry stuff, put a little stuff in your backpack. But do not have a big backpack because that's a freshman backpack and you will get ridiculed for that. And you are trying to reduce the amount of ridicule you ridicule you'll experience freshman. Another thing I wish I'd known freshman year is guys don't matter, especially freshman year, it doesn't matter who you're dating, no one cares if you're dating someone or not, most of the time, no one's going to be dating anyone except for like three people, and those people have probably been dating since like 6th grade, and they're going to break up soon anyway, so whatever. Another thing is don't go through all your prospective guys freshman year, because that's something that can happen is, like you date like 20 people freshman year, and then senior year you have no one to date because you already dated everyone, or don't like go after everyone because they're gonna think you're creepy for going after all these guys and then you're gonna be known as the girl that's gone after all the guys and then your senior year you're never gonna be able to be guys so don't do that don't stress about college yet just don't stress about college yet it's not time for college stressing save that for your junior year don't like worry that you don't know what you want to do because you probably won't even know what you want to do your freshman year of college never mind your freshman year of high school so just don't really stress about that i mean think about college a little bit but don't really think about it because it doesn't really matter until you get i mean think about your grades of course but like like you can't get early admission to a college your freshman year like that's only like your end of junior or senior year so just calm down that's another thing about freshman year, nothing really matters as much as you think it does. You're gonna be a senior, you're gonna be look back and be like, wow, I was a fucking idiot. So, just calm down, don't get worked up over things. Another thing is, like, keep a drama-free group of friends, because that's just gonna make your life so much easier. So, I hope all these tips helped you. Please like, subscribe, comment, you know, all those fun things, because happiness is just a quick way. Maybe that's going to be my new thing. Happiness is just a quick away. I don't know. Have a guys. Bye.